midnight, the air still the stone, no wisp of cloud dare taint the inky sky, sprinkled with stars and stardust. The girl wakes, rubs her eyes, leans forward to part the flower-patterned curtains that shield her from the night. Soon he will come, an owl hoots, he is near, his fingers creep across the window pane, warmth is scampering away, his icy grip misses no one, nothing can escape Jack Frost. The murky pond, once a fathomless pit of gloom and treachery, is now a sheet of frosted glass. Around its edges, children slide and slip and tumble, cracking puddles of thin toffee. My mum says it's dangerous, the cautious son bemoans his lot. Then, glancing sideways, joins the throng, throwing caution to the dying wind. Laughter echoes, echoes, echoes. Upon its smooth and rink-like centre, skaters wheel and whirl and twirl in ballet dancers' pirouettes. Soon the sky begins to darken, as your blue Jack's chosen hue becomes a shade of chainmail grey. Heavy now, with clouds that threaten, struggling with its wintry load. And from its bosom, slow and steady, feathers soon begin to fall. Sparse at first, then densely weighted, plucking a celestial goose, welter, billow, fury, blizzard, cloaking the earth in nature's ermine. Snow is here in flake and flurry, vales and valleys fill with drifts.
Roads are blocked, car horns are honking, drivers curse and fret and fume. Trains are cancelled, points are frozen, it is as ever the wrong kind of snow. Then, with the evening, comes the low. It's Christmas Eve and white as snow. Nestled neath her counterpane, the girl smiles and closes her eyes. And as she sleeps, as quietly as he came, Jack Frost slips away, his fingerprints Dissolve from the window pane. The icicles upon the eaves begin to drip. But spring is far off, and one day soon Jack Frost will return. Who knows when? Not the little girl. Hmm. <laughs> she has other things to dream on. This bright Christmas morning. Jack Frost.